Hi everybody, my name is Robert, and today I am going to be shooting a cast bullet load uh, into some water jugs. I have uh, been experimenting with loads for my 45 Colt uh, Rossi 92 clone of the Winchester 1892, and for a while now I have been trying to find a cast bullet that's both going to give me enough expansion and penetration to efficiently take boar, wild hogs. I like hunting those, and Texas is full of them. And uh, anyhow, I have found that the 300 grain Lee is stable to about 50 yards in my rifle. I can push it to about 16, almost 1700 feet per second. The uh, short range accuracy is great the faster I push it, but the long range accuracy no matter how fast I push it, it starts to destabilize in my barrel, in my rifle, um, somewhere around 50 yards. I'll start getting keyholes on paper targets and uh, start losing accuracy. And most of my hunting, most of my hog hunting is done at 50 yards or under, but there are occasionally shots out to 100 or so yards uh, that I would like to take even with my little Rossi. And I can't do that with those 300 grain loads. So now I'm going to try the Lee 255 grain. Previously, I'd found that I couldn't get it to have uh, accuracy above about 1500 feet per second. So I resorted to double powder coating it, putting a thicker layer of powder coat on. And I've tried sizing it a couple of different ways. Um, 452 sizing works okay, but leaving it at 454 seems to work better. And I'm able to push it at about 1,650 to almost 1,700 feet per second, and it's still accurate at 50 yards, and a little later on today, I'll find out if it's accurate at 100 yards. I hope it is. That'd be awesome. But today, I want to try and see if it expands, if it, with all that powder coat, expands, or does it act like a full metal jacket? So you can see on your screen, there is an example bullet. I'm going to load another one, put on my ears, and fire it into these seven water jugs that I have down range there. Seven water jugs. We'll see what it does. I'm super curious. This is my Rossi 92 Scout scoped. I have not been able to figure out, and if any of y'all in the comments can tell me, how do I get this dang scope to clear my ejection port and be a little bit closer to the barrel. I would love to get it lower. I've been resorting to use these uh, these AR style rings that you know cantilever the scope forward a little bit, but they sure do put a lot of vertical on the scope, which I don't really I don't really want or need. Let's go try it out. Well, I can tell you one thing, it put a hurting on the water jugs. Let's go see how many jugs it went through and let me see if I can recover the bullet and see if it expanded. All right, looks like we've got a slug in jug four. little jug ectomy here I'm happy it looks like it expanded from what I can see you know on the outside I should have done this further away from my truck now I'm gonna be standing in mud live and learn All right, got to say, I'm pretty happy with this. Here it is. 
unexpanded expanded looks like it is about 75 caliber powder coat is still stuck to the nose of the bullet powder coat still exists all around the bullet except for where some of the uh lands dug at it we'll have to check this for leading see if it leads i don't want that all right so today's test was successful we got four jugs expansion uh, the last time i tried it out at a lower velocity we got expansion but not very much um that was going about 1450 feet per second if i remember correctly so you know this one is going almost 1700 feet per second so that gives me a good range where there's still going to be expansion and if i can maintain accuracy out to 100 yards or so i will be super happy well i hope you all enjoyed it y'all have a great day